Yesterday we discussed the first verse, Gurun Ishabhaktan Isham Ishabhatarakan Tatprakasan Satat Shakti Krishna Chaitanya Sangha. Krishna Chaitanya, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, he has got uh, many fold expansion. The first expansion is prakash, sayam prakash, balaram, and nityananda is balaram. Vrindha nandana jai sachi suta hoila sei balaram hoila nita. We have to understand from the Mahajan, from Tandas Thakur, sometimes some foolish people interpret Nityananda as expansion of Radharan. That is not the fact. <coughs> Nityananda is Balaram. Uh, we have to know from Mahajan. We cannot manufacture our own idea. That is blasphemy. Sahajya. Jatamat Tatopa. These things are not accepted by Mahajan. <coughs> Mahajan means who follows the previous Mahajan. This is the system. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu strictly follows this principle. Krishna also recommended evaṁ parampara praptam. We have to receive knowledge through the disciplic succession. Mahājanvat. You, you cannot manufacture. This concoction has killed the spiritual life of India. You can think anyway, I can think in my way. That is not at all scientific. You cannot think two plus two equal to three or five. Two plus two equal to four. You cannot think otherwise. <clears throat> Ask them to stop. So <clears throat> Nityananda means prakash, sayang prakash, balaram. Balaram is, uh, I mean to say, presenting Krishna. Therefore balaram is guru uh, Guru he is representative of Balaram, of Nityanam, Guru Nityanam, because he is exhibiting 
Krishna. He is present in Krishna. Prakash. Just like when there is sunshine, you can see everything very correctly. That is called prakash. In the darkness, everything is covered. At night, we cannot see. But during daytime, when there is prakash, illumination, then we can see everything. So Nityananda Prabhu is Balaram. Balaram is prakash tattva. He is manifesting Krishna. Balaram Bandi Sri Krishna, Krishna Chaitanya is the supreme, absolute personality of Godhead. And next, Nityananda, uh, yeah, or yes, Nityananda is exhibiting him. When Nityananda was preaching uh, in Bengal, he first of all delivered the Jagai Mother. That was his first business. He showed how to <coughs> serve Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Krishna Chaitanya means Krishna himself. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahe Anna. Radha Krishna combined together is Sri Krishna Chaitanya. And Nityananda is uh, <coughs> exhibiting Krishna Chaitanya. So, how one can exhibit Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? That is uh, by his personal example, Nityananda Prabhu has uh, given us lesson. Uh, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was sending his devotees to preach, and Nityananda Prabhu was doing that, he used to go with Haridas Thakur to preach on the street, uh, home to home. So when they saw there was a big crowd on the street, so Nityananda Prabhu inquired from the people why there is so many people assembled. Uh, he was informed that there are two gundas, uh, robes, they are creating some trouble. The gundas, their business is to create trouble. That's all. Every one of us we know, especially at the present moment in Bengal. Yes. This is due to lack of uh, preaching of Krishna consciousness. Nityananda Prabhu is not uh, given the chance. Nityananda Prabhu is uh, very eager to preach, but he is not given chance. Actually, those who are proud of becoming descendants of Nityananda Prabhu in Bengal, there is a family. They say that they are descendants from Nityananda Prabhu. So apart from controversy, even accepting that they are descendants from Nityananda Prabhu, their business is also to act like Nityananda Prabhu. So that business, what is that business? 
that he is described as Nartan Das Thakur, Mahayan, Papi Tapi Jato Chilo Hori Name Uddha Dilo. Tarasatthi Jogai Mala. This is the business of Nityananda Prabhu, along with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Brajandar Nandana Jai Sati Sutta Hoilo Sai. <laughs> Balaram Hoilo Nita. So yes, Krishna Chaitanya and Nityananda. Their identification is Lord Krishna and Balaram. Now, in the Krishna incarnation, these two brothers were engaged as cowherds for and friends of the gopis, sons of Mother Jasuda and Nanda Maharaj. That is the actual life in Vrindavan. Krishna and Balaram. That village, cowherd's boy, that is the early age history of Krishna Balra. And then another business, when they went to Mathura, they killed Kamsa and the wrestlers. And then again, when they went to Dharuka, they had to fight with so many demons. But their childhood life, up to sixteenth year, they were in Vindavan. Happy life, simply love. That is, paritranaya sadhuna. Sadhus, devotees, they are always anxious to see Krishna, Balaram, and their associates. They are always very much uh, agreed on account of separation to give them rejuvenation of life. Krishna Balaram uh, plays their childhood days in Vrindavan. And out of Vrindavan, beginning from Mathura up to Dwarka and other places, the business was vinasāyaca uh, duskita, killing. So they have got two businesses, one for pacifying the devotees and the other is to kill the demons. Of course, Krishna and Balara their absolute truth, there is no difference between killing and loving. The absolute. Uh, those who are killed, you know, they are also delivered from this material bondage. Uh, now these same two brothers have again descended as Sri Krishna Chaitanya Nitan. Sahodito. Simultaneously they have appeared. Not that one is appeared, another is not there. No, both of them. Sahodito. And they are compared with the sun and moon. The business of sun and moon is to dissipate darkness. The sun rises during daytime and the moon rises at night. But this sun and moon, wonderful sun and moon, Chitra, uh, they have appeared together. But the business is the same, Tamonu uh, Business is to dissipate dark. Because we are in darkness. We, anyone who is in this material world, he is in darkness. 
That phrase means ignorance, no knowledge. They are mostly animals. Why they are animals? So civilized men, so well dressed, and university education, degrees. Why they are in darkness? Yes, they are in darkness. What is the proof? The proof is that they are not Krishna conscious. This is it. That is their task. Ask anybody, item by item, then <coughs> ask, what do they know about Krishna? Everyone is ignorant, dark. That is the proof. How? This is proof. Now Krishna says, we do not say. Krishna says. How does he say? Namana duskita nam mudha prapadyante naranama maya aparita jnana. Aparita jnana means that although they have got university degrees, although they are called civilized, advanced in material civilization, but māyā apurita jñāna. Their degrees, because they do not know Krishna thoroughly and therefore do not surrender to Krishna, which Krishna is canvassing personally. Sarva-dharmān paritajya māmekaṁ saranakya. is personally canvassing. Because these rascals and fools, they are in darkness. They do not know what is the goal of life. Krishna is so kind that He is canvassing. This is the philosophy. So still they are not doing so. Why? Naradhama, because the lowest of the mankind. Naradhama. How they have become naradhama, duskriti, no, always committing sinful life. What is sinful life? Illicit sex, meat eating, intoxication, and gang. Because they are addicted to these things, they are duskriti, no, and naradhama, the rest of the mankind. And whatever knowledge they are acquiring by so-called education, that is false knowledge. Maya Pritakya now. This is the position. So Sri Krishna Chaitanya and Nityananda, they came, descended again, being merciful. Same Krishna. Vajandanandana Jai. Satishita Hoyu say. Same Krishna. In a different way they can pass the same principle. You can sit down. There. You are sleeping. Don't sit. Don't show that sleeping. Stand up. Go there. <coughs> so this is the darkness. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared to drive away this darkness. Same Krishna. The same principle. There is no difference <coughs> between Krishna's preaching and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's preaching. There is no difference. The difference is that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is demanding, you rascal, you surrender unto me. You are suffering so much, you are rascal. I am your father. I want to see you happy. 
Therefore I have come, surrender unto me. I shall give you all protection. Ahankva sarvapapi bhammakri. You are suffering on account of your duskriti, all sinful activities. Whatever you are doing, all sinful activities. Except Krishna consciousness activities, whatever you do, that is sinful activity. But they have been summarized into four principles. The whole sinful activities of the world, they have been summarized in four lines. No illicit sex, no meat-eating, no gambling, no interest. This is the summary. But otherwise, of these activities there are many, many branches. But they, if you cut the root of sinful activities, this illicit sex and gambling and meat eating, then generally, automatically other sinful activities will go. Therefore, we who are propagating Krishna consciousness movement, we are just requesting that you give up this input. Otherwise you will be implicated again. What is an implication? The implication is that your sinful life will get you next body, which is also sinful. And again you suffer. Suffering there is, as soon as you get material body, there is suffering. It may be a king's body or it may be a cobbler's body. It doesn't matter. The suffering is there. But because these people are māyā, apurita, jñāna, they are accepting suffering as pleasure. This is called māyā. He is suffering, but he is thinking it is a good pleasure. Just like the pig is eating stool and is thinking he is enjoying life. This is called ignorance. He does not know that he is suffering. Maya has given his body to suffer, but even in the pig's body he is thinking that he is enjoying life. This is called Maya. Mohita Navijana Ti Mami Pa Paramabhayam. This is called illusion. Illusion. Everyone in this material world, they are suffering in different grades. Just ah, like in the prison house, there are different grades of prisoner first class, second class, third class. But if the first class prisoner thinks they are enjoying life, that is ignorance. He should know that he is in the prison house. In the prison house, what is there in enjoyment? It is all suffering. Uh, maybe first class suffering. <laughs> but it is suffering. Uh, so they are all in the darkness. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ittananda Prabhu appeared. And to uh, dissipate, tamonudo, to dissipate this dark of the whole human society. Uh, that is their kindness. Uh, they are. <coughs> so Nityananda Prabhu being Prakash, he is manifesting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, he is canvassing the same thing. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is canvassing to accept Krishna consciousness. And to accept Krishna consciousness through the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, and their other assistants is easier. Easier. Therefore, we see practically, we have taught our disciples uh, to chant first of all the Panchatam. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nintana. 
So, through the mercy of this panchatattva, easily you can approach Krishna. Easy. Otherwise, how it is possible? These Europeans, Americans, they did not know what is Krishna. Four or five years ago, they are unknown. How they have become so devotee of Krishna that ten thousand miles crossing over the sea, they have come here at my unless they have got developed love for this. Their coming is not so easy from neighboring villages, but it costs. Uh, they have spent uh, lakhs of dollars, one dollar equal to eight rupees, and they have come here. Why? Through the mercy of Sri Krishna Chaitanya. 